What's happening guys, it's DK Priori, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Dark Souls 3, The Convergence. So last time we were exploring Lothric Castle. We've cleared most of this outer area out. I feel like there's stuff missing over there and I can't remember how to get to it. And there is definitely, there are definitely still dudes lurking about some those dickhead archers like this one. Oh, you asshole. Never mind. We're gonna proceed. I hear a knight too, but I don't know whether that's in the castle. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna proceed Wow, okay. I was gonna take out the try and take out the explosive barrels because what happens in here usually, traditionally, is you get peppered with firebombs. And if the barrels explode, you know, end of story. So let's get up here. Sorry, the I forget that you could hit people on ladders. So there's no cursey boy here anymore. Just this douche. Metallic chunk. Undead bone shard. I think that's the last one we need, actually. So, yeah, our resters should be fully upgraded soon. 15, we've already got 15 uses of it, and it'll soon be at plus 10. That'll do nicely. So, I'm gonna go up. Proceed to try and sweep away as many ambushes as I can, potential ambushes, before I grab the loot at the bottom. Get dead. Don't want to let him scream because he'll just wake all these guys up. Mimic and a dude. Lothric priest sword and another dude. So let us nuke this mimic real quick. He's gonna crab around. Oh, 
wolf's blood sword grass, okay. Serve some Astus. So that's this upper por upper portion dealt with. So we can go down and see what's below. I think we've cleared everything that could potentially ruin our butthole. This is still essentially the same as it's always been. So, is there anything down here? That we may have missed. No. Always worth checking for those sneaky chests. Okay, now we're going to enter the castle proper and try and get that front gate open. So the main entrance is open. And again be real cautious because we're running low on Estus. We haven't found a bonfire yet. I don't even know if there's going to be one or if it's just going to be the case that we'll take that shortcut. Back to the bonfire above where we fought Dancer. Lothric Knight UGS. Lovely. And uh, Divine Relic. this way and see what lurks behind us. You don't need you buff in the night. Oh, we got an Estus back. Cool. Broken Monocle. Lothric Knight set. I bet that's more, st yet more stuff for uh, uh, Strength Miracle builds. Like there wasn't enough already. Oh, it's stamina consumption, actually. Okay. Not what I was expecting. Then we've got this portion to explore. See, this is tense now because I know exactly how much of the castle remains to be checked. Boss up there, shortcut there, or is it shortcut here? That's already open, nice. There's a bonfire here. Static charge. Doesn't open from this side. Don't 
want to do the boss yet. Still took a shitload of damage then. There used to be a cursey boy around here too. Another mimic. Wow, that, that didn't hit at all. Still the sunlight straight sword. And then is it still a miracle tome? Divine relic now. I can hear knights, but I can't see knights. So let's proceed as if there are no knights. this ladder. This used to be a real pain as a melee build because there's like these dudes firing at you. And now it's obviously having this ranged projectile option. He's just gonna hang out. So let's try and pull him. Now that knight's getting angry, is he down here, I wonder? Like, dude's running. He knows I'm knocking about. I just thought that was an invisible wall. Oh, that there was an invisible wall in here. Standard one though, he'd be dead before he reaches us. And then we can battle Mage Band. That sounds interesting. Boost physical damage by 15%, okay. That's that door, the bonfire. So then, over here will be the shortcut. And maybe some new stuff to find. Again, just like all the other major zones in this mod, I'm being really thorough, really slow, meticulous, you might say. So I want to make sure I find everything, you know? Tearstone. 
want to make sure I don't miss things. Like, I've got a feeling that I missed stuff in the uh, labyrinth. The new labyrinth that's being added to the profane capital. A slab. Wonderful. Now, is there still the... What? Huh. Huh. That's peculiar. Oh, I, I remember now. I remember. That one, I think, comes down from the Duke's archives. I was getting my lifts mixed up. There's no secret lift here. That's just going to take us back down to the castle. May as well ride it. Just to double check. That's the castle. And that's how long it's been since we rested at a bonfire. Because all these dudes are still dead. We've been thorough. So I guess that is Lothric Castle sort of dealt with. Any loot? Lothric Knight Longspear. So we've got the boss, uh, the bonfire right here. And what I will say is, judging by the way this mod has been, this could be a brand new boss again, rather than same old uh, Dragon Slayer armor. Let's go and see what awaits us. Oh, let's look. look. Firstly, <laughs> let's use any soul items we've got and get some levels. Don't want to be hanging on to that many souls in a boss battle. Let's see what we can do. 30 attunement gives us that fifth slot. Beautiful. So now I guess just dump some points into endurance. So it is. Oh yeah, so we can increase our damage and defense for ourselves and our summon, or we can have the heal, a strong healing spell that allows us to heal ourselves and our summon. And I, um, I don't know what I would prefer. Would I prefer to walk into a boss battle with increased damage and defense? Or an extra heal. I'm going to put the heal on for now. Oh shit, don't go that way. And then we're going to take a peek at what awaits us. 
So, buff up. Get Gru ready. Beheaded Knight. Oh, wow. This is a new boss, but Gru's doing the work here. Gru coming in, saving our ass. Well done, Gru. Well done. Wow, that was super easy. Although, and we got a significant amount of souls for that. So some of these bosses are totally farmable. Like, I could resurrect him over and over again, get tons of souls, do whatever I need with them. So yeah, that, that was the, the new boss of... Lothric Castle, Beheaded Knight. He's a bitch. Complete bitch. Metallic Titanite slab, that's a nice find. It's always nice to find slabs of any type. I mean, obviously, the base game only has the one type, but. In this instance, there are a few different variants of slabs, and it's always nice to have them on hand because I might want to respec and try a different build or, you know, just do my damn thing. Oh, it's the merchant again. Does he have any new wares for oh, us? Salutation. Some twinkling, scale, remains, hollows remains, soldiers remains, same armor, what's that ring? Ring of the Lost, increases strength, dex, in faith, and luck by two. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. It's got an infinite supply of healing potions, mana potions, and rejuve potions, so that, that's... Very good, my friend. It's a nice place to just stock up, I guess. And I can already hear what awaits us in the Grand Archives. But that's for another time. So, quickly do that later. Anyway, we got through the rest of Lothric Castle and we defeated the new boss there in like less than a minute. We melee through him. It actually grew, did all the work. So, I've been DK Priori, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.